I got a new chair, which technically is new in that I just purchased it, but I have about four years experience using it since this is the chair that I've used, or rather this is the model of chair that I used at my previous workplace. The difference is even from the picture that came with it, this shows like a, a mesh back and a foam seat. It actually comes in two versions. One is the mesh back and foam seat in the picture. And the one I have actually is mesh back and mesh seat as well. I've used this chair for four years, sitting on it for at least eight hours a day at my previous work. And I would say it's just as comfortable as the Herman Miller Aeron at a fraction of the cost. I think this Aeron, I must have bought it on sale maybe for like a thousand dollars Canadian. While this chair, the Ibex is $350 before tax with free shipping. So about 400 ish, maybe a little bit less. And I'm blown away by it. Like I can't sing its praise enough. What makes a chair good for me is the fact that once you dial it in, you just sit in it and you don't think about it anymore. It doesn't cause any back pains. You just get up as if you've never sat on the chair at all, as if you've been walking around the whole day versus if you get a really bad chair, you will notice that the chair is bad because you'll get pains in your lower back and you'll feel like you've been sitting around all day long. And that's something I don't get from this chair. It just, I don't even think about the chair. It's just the chair is there to, to kind of cradle me and it, it, it just melts away in, in my brain. I don't, I don't even think about it anymore. And that's why I love this chair. And that's why I love the Aeron, except I love this chair a lot more because it's so much cheaper than the Aeron. We got tilt tension control. We got forward tilt stop. We got seat angle control. We got back angle control, seat height control, arm control, and lumbar control. So those are the different operations that you can do on the seat itself. So I swapped into the Herman Miller Aeron. This is the size C and a couple of things that the Herman Miller has over it is that it does have a slightly more adjustable armrest versus the Ibex is completely fixed. You can only move it up and down, but that's not really a, a big concern. There's a little bit more in terms of adjustments. Um, the, actually, you know what? The adjustments is pretty similar. Once you get it dialed down and it's fairly easy to get yourself dialed down into this chair, you don't really have to worry about it too much. The materials is probably where it's a little bit different on here, where this is hard plastic. It's a good quality plastic and the, the metal feet on, on the Miller, the Herman Miller is metal, whereas on the Ibex is plastic, so you get extremely, extremely tough feet over there. The only advantage that I can think of that the Aeron has over the Ibex chair is that the Ibex tends to be a little bit more narrow. I'm a larger fellow at six foot four, 220 pounds, so my hips are a little bit wider. The Aeron size C fits me pretty comfortably, whereas this one, I'm kind of over right at the, right at the edge. So let me. Like it's pretty, it's not bad. Like I'm right to the edge here because I got thicker thighs, whereas over here, there's a little bit more space in the in the Aeron size C for me to move. So um, that's one of the 
considerations, although it never really bothered me when I, I used this in the office for, for four years. Um, the, other, the other thing to note is the lumbar support is just like this piece of plastic, kind of like a curvy thingy here. While it does provide support, it's not as sturdy as the lumbar, lumbar support that I have on the Aeron. It's adjustable up and down, uh, I think to a wider range of motion on the Aeron versus on the Ibex here. It doesn't quite go up as high as I'd like to because I'm a slightly taller person. It, it stops just probably two inches short of where I'd like it to be, but it still provides good lumbar support. The, the foam cushion on the seat of the Aeron is like, a, it has a little bit more give. This does have give on the Ibex, but it's definitely not a spongy feeling. And both of them don't, let me see here. This comes, the Ibex doesn't go as high up in terms of, let's see, how far does it go? Uh, right to my shoulder blade. Whereas the Aeron goes, yeah, it goes right to my neck. So the, the seat back is not as high. It's probably another couple inches shorter than the Aeron, but that's not actually a big deal because my, my back actually only touches three quarters of the way, pretty much the same thing. And since they don't have a headrest, it's kind of a moot point that I can't lean back all the way anyways. So, and again, both of them are mesh. The mesh on the Ibex is, I can't really say in terms of weave pattern. It looks like the, the Aeron has a denser weave pattern than the Ibex, but considering I've had four years experience with a previous similar chair, I don't think it's going to be too big a deal in terms of durability. Ha, so having said that, the Ibex is incredible value for an office chair if you're looking for a great all mesh chair that is pretty much as comfortable as an Aeron for eight hours of day of sitting in doing computer work, doing desk work. So I would definitely have picked this chair up first had I known what chair I actually was sitting on for four years in the office rather than going on the internet and buying the first chair I saw in an Instagram ad. So while it doesn't really catch your eye as much or it doesn't look so fancy, it's such a workhorse. I love this chair and definitely would pick this up had I known about it. Yeah, this chair definitely has so much going for it. It's durable. It is extremely comfortable and functional. It's super easy to set up. It's fairly light compared to something like my big beefy Aeron here. And really, it's, it's just, it all comes down to comfort. So yeah, it's, it's a chair. This is a chair, a video about a chair, but chairs are expensive and we're at home these days and this is such a good chair and I wish I found a, like, I wish I found out about it 15 years ago or whenever, whenever I bought, whenever I got this air on would have saved me a few hundred bucks, but ah, what is, is, and what will be, will be. So that's it. Uh, if you can, and you're looking for something that is an alternative to a more expensive Aeron that everyone keeps talking about. The Ibex full mesh chair is probably as close as you can get to something like the Aeron that is not a knockoff of the Aeron. And 
definitely a fraction of the price of the Aeron. And just as comfortable. Did I say that? Just as comfortable. All right, that's my video. See you in the next one.